When one lunas foliarium, one gold at the Exposición Nacional de Bellas Artes in 1884, it was the validation that Filipinos had long sought after. Proof that they were not the uncivilized Indios that their Spanish colonizers considered them to be, but rather their equals, if not their superiors. As the Philippines commemorates the 125th anniversary of its independence, Salcedo Auctions, the country's premier auction house, takes a retrospective gaze upon the painting that has become an indelible part, not just of the nations, but of its own pioneering history. The pinnacle painting of the artist hero that ignited the Filipinos' fight for freedom. In the Philippines, there is, and indeed, there never will be, a work of art that will surpass the importance of Juan Luna's Spoliarium. This merging of political, cultural, and artistic history in a singular image, one so powerful that it can be said to ultimately define a people. One sees the figures of bloodied and beaten gladiators being dragged into the basement of the Roman Colosseum, where they will be stripped of their weapons and armor, flanked by jeering onlookers and leering opportunists angling for spoils. To the right, in the dimly lit space amidst the carnage and din, a woman sits alone, bundled in grief. Luna's win bolstered the cause of the propaganda movement. In his Brindis, Dr. Jose Rizal, later the national hero, declared that the painting embodied, and I quote, the spirit of our social, moral, and political life, humanity subjected to hard trials, humanity unredeemed, reason and aspiration in open fight with prejudice, fanaticism, and injustice. End of quote. Graciano Lopez Haina made a more daring observation. The Philippines is more than a veritable spoliarium with all its horrors. There it lies in mangled fragments, humanity massacred, the rights of man perverted. There is no semblance of justice for the common man, and liberty is cinders, ashes, and dust. When Rizal's family in Calamba, Laguna learned of the speech, they told Rizal not to go home for a while. The press were quick to realize the subliminal message, and he was tagged as a subversive. Rizal continued to study in Europe and in Germany. In 1887, he would publish his own masterpiece, The Noli Me Tangere, the novel that would ultimately awaken a nation. John Silva, then senior consultant to the National Museum, wrote, and I quote, It all started with the spoliario. After his speech, life was never the same for Rizal. The Philippine Revolution was inspired by a painting. End of quote. In 2018, Salcedo Auctions unveiled what remains as the most important art discovery of our time. The Boceto of Spoliarium, a long-lost treasure returned to the motherland, an important milestone in Philippine art history. We reflect upon this supreme image of struggle and dehumanization envisioned by Juan Luna, one that continues to resonate among many Filipinos who, defeated on the gladiatorial arena of life, continue to be dragged into the dark depths of despair, harangued by a society waiting to pounce upon their dispossession. Yet, as we lay eyes upon the grieving woman on the right, she is crouched, yet illumined, possibly contemplating the future that lies ahead, we continue to find solace and hope. On this day of our independence, Salcedo Auctions honors not only the creative achievement of one man, but also the allegory of the eternal and of our beloved land, our lupang hinirang, 
that Luna's art so masterfully and heroically represents.